What does the competition package add to a 2023 BMW M4? 30 more horsepower, 73 pound-feet of torque more is pumped out of that 3.0 liter twin turbo M powered engine. This is the Brooklyn gray metallic over sandstone black leather interior. I'm Anthony from Hawkeye Rides. The front fascia is gonna start off with LED adaptive headlamps and daytime runnings. That four series grill that everyone complains about, but it's a functional purpose, making it more athletic. On the lower skirt, you get the air breathers, the gloss black, or you can option the carbon fiber exterior package, which will highlight those side breathers, the side air curtains that are in gloss black, and the side view mirrors, along with the lower bumper that house the quad exhaust outlet tips. Dynamics at a 5149, the RS5 Sportback is gonna be about the same weight as this. And this inline six is getting a zero to 60 at 3.6 seconds, whereas that 2.9 twin turbo V6 is at 3.8 seconds. It'll be a close race, don't get me wrong. But this is a convertible. When you option the coupe, it'll be just a touch faster. With the staggered setup, 19 inch up front, 20 inch in the back, M Sport brakes, the calipers in blue, six pistons house in the front with a single floating caliper in the rear, M 50 year badging, for the rims, the front, and the rear. 53 horsepower more and 37 pound-feet of torque more than that Sportback RS5. When you're thinking about adding a competition to the Audi, it's not gonna be the same as this. It's gonna lower about 200 pounds. It's gonna take some of the sound deadening out and it's gonna give you a little bit more of a throaty exhaust note. But when you get into the competition, we actually add components. Adaptive M suspension with electronically controlled dampers. M control modes so you can get more sporty and athletic in your drive. LED tail lamps is standard and the exhaust on this is going to look just as aggressive as the oval exhaust for the RS Audi Sportback, if not a little bit more. It's a bit more simple up top, but I appreciate that because it's a convertible. M Sport differential with a double joint spring strut front axle, five link rear axle, and topping it off with X drive to give you all wheel drive. We need to go inside, start it up so you can hear that exhaust note. to go into 10.6 cubic feet of storage, 12 volt and a nook on the sides. You need more space, fold this up when the top is up with a pass through that can be accessed from the rear to increase the cargo to the competition convertible. Going inside the M4 competition convertible, Headroom starts at 40.3 inches, legroom 41.7 inches. 16-way power seat adjustment, heated, perforated, M4 badging that illuminates, cushion extensions for both occupants in the front, memory for the driver. The dash gets the gloss black and the tetragon aluminum inlays with the satin aluminum ambient lighting that's gonna brush underneath, dual climate control settings, 12.3 infotainment screen, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Sirius XM, AM, FM, streaming Bluetooth audio. Put it into reverse, we have the 360 degree reverse camera, full trajectory, automatic parking and backup assist which also entails the 3D view, which you can go all around the vehicle to see any imperfections that are near you. And the same thing with the car wash view that'll show the trajectory in the front. Going into the Tetracon that opens up with a wireless charging pad, a USB-C and a 12 volt, the M4 key fob. M badging around the gear lever, iDrive 7, driver mode select, which can go into M for road and sport. You can also set it up to make it sport plus with the M2 and M1 paddle shifters with the leather wrap M steering wheel multi-function 
and the regular paddle shifters behind it. The gauge cluster is a digital reader that will change to a boomerang for your normal driving. And when you change it into sport mode, it will be more dynamic. Hit the BC button and you can go through an array of information for the driver. More of a flat dashboard layout. It's going to be soft where you rest your arms. Storage inside with a USB-C port. Harman Kardon upgraded sound system, more of your everyday materials, and it's going to be soft where it needs to be one touch up and down for all the windows. A medium-sized storage pocket with the beverage holder in the front, and a small storage tier for the driver. For the back seats, headroom I can actually fit with the top up. Legroom at 34.7 inches, so it's going to be pretty tight, but put the top down and there's no need to have any issue of headroom. And when I fold this down, I have a little bit more area to rest because I'm tall and I can put my arms up here. The back seat gets a storage tier on the sides with the Harman Kardon and a little area to rest your arm, BMW M seat belts. Fold this out and it will be your pass-through or your armrest with cup holders in the center, third climate control setting, two USB-C ports, no storage behind any of the front seats. Sport mode, active exhaust, 30 more horsepower, 73 more pound-feet of torque, 0 to 60, 3.6. Let's see what she got. It's gonna put a smile on your face. This thing is ready to perform. Put it back into road mode. 5149 weight distribution. What does that entail? Look at this. Awesome. And on the exit. This is performance at its best. One of my favorite variants because it's such a bang for your buck of what you're getting in performance and luxury. Now that's gonna take me to three things I like and dislike. And what I like about the vehicle, besides the increase and all of the dynamics that you get in this vehicle, it's still an everyday car. The suspension's gonna be a little bit firm, but because the seats are so comfortable and we don't have the optional M Sport seats, you can drive this anywhere and you're not gonna be tired. And if you do, just do this. And it's gonna hug the road. The next thing that I like about the vehicle is you're not really sacrificing for cargo. Yes, the RS5 Sportback is gonna have more because it's a hatchback. This is a convertible and I still have around 11 cubic feet of storage with the pass-through. So if I buy a big screen TV, maybe 55 inch, not too crazy, I can fit it inside this. The last thing that I like is it's aggressive where it needs to be on the exterior and it has a little subtle touch to it. So they didn't go over the top and give you extra exterior styling that isn't something that performs for the vehicle. Unfortunately, there's no RS5 Sportbacks but there's enough room for me to give it a little go. And look how quick you get up to those numbers. Three things that I dislike about the vehicle, it should be standard carbon fiber interior with standard ventilated seats. Taking me to the second thing that I dislike, when you have the car running and you open the trunk, the reverse sensors just keep making noises as if you're backing up the vehicle. This is just a simple system update. Shouldn't be too difficult to be fixed, but it's been this way for quite a while. With the top down, let's go. You're gonna enjoy it more with the top down than with it up, especially if you got the tent and you live in the state of Florida. Turn the AC on. If it's cold at night, option the neck warmers. It is difficult to nitpick and find things that you dislike about a vehicle that's crafted really well. The last thing that I dislike has to go into cup holders because I personally own an exotic sports car and it's the same thing here. You can't really fit much more than a 16 to 20 ounce bottle. And the way they have it on the door panels, you can fit more so there than in the center. And I'm not gonna be going like this all the time. So we would be 
good if they could reconfigure this center cluster, but they still haven't done it even on the LCIs for the X7 and X5. Would I purchase this over an RS5 Sportback? Yes, because the performance is better. The styling, I like it a lot more so. I'm looking for a Dravid Gray, not a Brooklyn Gray Metallic, because it looks like the paint's dripping here in the daytime. It looks like a light blue. In the nighttime, it looks kind of like a gray. The interior, I'm looking for a Fiona Milano leather with ventilated and heated seats instead of just heated seats and adaptive cruise control with lane keep assist this doesn't have that feature either when you start getting up the tier to an m4 i feel like some of these packages should be standard and the same thing for the rs5 sportback you have to add features in order to make it look more dynamic especially if you wanted to have the black optic package which makes it set out of class it really does look awesome but 444 horsepower is not something that i'm going to entertain when i'm at the same price or maybe even a ten thousand dollar savings if i'm optioning a competition and i'm getting 503 here yeah the zero to 60 is just a few tenths difference but that's because it's the convertible the dynamics is better the drive is a little bit more smooth it's about the same sound deadening if you option a competition in the rs5 sport back hard brakes and stop on a dime turn radius is going to get about two lanes which is about normal for the size of this give her a little go that's just your everyday drive exhaust i like to thank bmw of wesley chapel for giving us this 2023 bmw m4 competition for our car review if you're already a subscriber thank you for being part of the hawkeye community if not just click the next video on the subscribe button. Check out the merchandise website, Instagram, leave a comment and a like.